Hello all and welcome to this tutorial. In our tutorial today, we will learn how to create a SSH key pair using PuTTY key generator or also known as puttygen.exe. Before we deep dive into the demo, let us visit this particular website. The website is www.puttygen.com. Now this particular website is where you can download the puttygen.exe from. Okay, so it's basically available for Windows, Linux, and Macs. As you see, there's an option over here, download putty for Windows, Linux, and Mac. Now, in my case, I'm on a Windows system, so I'm gonna click on Windows. And if you scroll further down, you will basically be able to see the details, etc. And then this is where you can start downloading it, uh, downloading the EXE. So for example, they have Putty EXE for both 32-bit and 64-bit. They have a bunch of other Putty family tools. And if you scroll further down, you will see puttygen.exe. Now this is the utility that is typically used for RSA and DSA key generation. So again, it is available both in 32-bit as well as 64-bit. So just click on this particular EXE and uh, download it and then you should be good to go. Now I have already downloaded this EXE on my machine as you see it's right here. And let me execute this uh, EXE right there. Now, uh, hopefully you're able to see everything clearly. I'm recording this video in HD and unfortunately I'll not be able to change the font size or anything on this particular screen. So uh, just bear with me. Okay, but uh, hopefully since this has been recorded in HD, you should be able to see all the text and the menu options clearly over here. Okay. So uh, what we are going to do today is we are going to generate a public and a private key pair. Okay, so this is the option right here. And as you see, there are different types of uh, keys that you can generate using this particular utility. RSA, DSA, uh, ECDSA, and ED25519, and SSH1, which is also a key type of uh, RSA as well. Now the number of bits that are generated in the key by default is 2048. So where do we use these keys? So if you have watched my video on, you know, launching a, a, an Ubuntu machine or a VM and then installing Apache in that, whenever you're trying to launch in, uh, for Azure essentially, whenever you're trying to launch a machine, especially uh, like a Linux machine or an Ubuntu machine or a CentOS machine where you would typically SSH into using port 22, that's where you will use this particular key pair, okay? So uh, while launching a machine, you provide the public key and then to log in, you will provide the private key. Okay, so uh, let us generate a key of type RSA. To generate the key, click on the generate button right here. So click on this button. And as you see, it says, please generate some randomness by moving the mouse over the blank area. Now this is the blank area, as you see, I'm moving my mouse on it. And the more you move your mouse on it, it basically helps to create some randomness. And then finally your key has been created. So this is the key right here. As you see, this is the public key, which is available for pasting. And you can copy this key from here if you want. Or one of the things that I always encourage people is to save the public key. So click on save public key, okay? And give it a name, so I'll, let's say I'll give it pub key, okay? Pub key and then click on save. So the key would be saved here. So it's right here, as you see. Now you can actually open this key up in Notepad. So let's open it up and, and take a look at it. So this is our public key, as you see. 
is the begin, there's an N, and the key is right here in between. Okay, so simply just copy this key as is with the begin and end, you're fine, and paste it into your, uh, whenever you're launching your VM, etc. Let's say if you're launching an Ubuntu VM, it'll ask you for an SSH key, a uh, public key. Just simply just copy this and paste it right there. Now, along with the public key, the other thing that you need to save is the private key because when you log into the machine, it's going to ask you uh, for private key, right? So typically, what you do is you take the machine's IP address and you might have seen me in other videos as well. I use putty.exe, I put the IP address in over there and in the authentication, I provide the private key. So ensure that you save the private key as well. So click on save. If you want to um, pass face protected, you can do that. Since this is a demo, I'm not going to do that. Click on yes, and then say, uh, I'm just going to give this privy key and click on save. So as you see, our key has been saved here and all your private keys will be saved with an extension PPK, okay? And then if you try to open it in Notepad, generally, this is what you will see. It's just basically a whole lot of junk, as you see, just like this one. Okay, so this is how you go about creating a public key and a private key for type RSA. The process is similar for the rest of the other keys as well. It's just that the key will be different every time that you generate. Now, what, another thing that I want to highlight to you, let's say that uh, you lost your public key, okay? And all that you have is your private key. Now what? So if you want, you can actually, let's say if I, if I close this and I restart partygen.exe and I have lost my public key. But I have my private key. So as you see, there's an option over here load an existing private key file. So remember we had created this privy key dot, uh, PPK. So if I click on load, if I go here, open, as you see, private key has been generated. And now again, I can save the public key and the private key. So this is one of the easiest ways to uh, generate a public key in case you lost your public key, but you still have your private key. Typically private key as the name such as is private and it's supposed to be kept at a, and stored at a safe location. So this is generally how we go about creating an SSH key pair. Hopefully uh, this particular video is helpful. This utility I can tell you for sure is extremely helpful. Please ensure that you download this utility, explore this utility uh, it's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward, nothing fancy. And uh, use your keys, uh, you know, to launch your machines or uh, for any other purposes that you would like to use them. Okay, so that's it from me today in this particular session. And see you in some other session shortly. Take care. Bye-bye.